This is Will. I am a former Apple creative and former Apple genius here today to talk about the very beginning steps of Apple Keynote. Yes, we have finally done the Apple Keynote and we're here to talk about some of the cool things you can do within Apple Keynote. So first off, I am at the theme chooser of Apple Keynote. Now Apple will change these over time, but there are different styles of themes basically. Uh, so they have a few items here. Also, on the top right corner, you can see that if you want to do the wide or the standard, depending on how you're presenting, so you want to choose one of those as well. Uh, Recents is also great, so ones that you've chosen in the past are right here. So we're just going to open up. I'm going to go to the dynamic and open up the dynamic light. All right, so now here we are at the... Keynote. Now, if you have watched our other episodes on numbers and on pages, a lot of the things up here at the toolbar are going to be identical. You are going to see some things that are new, including items like record, which allows you to record and narrate this. Keynote Live, which is, allows you to present the live show anywhere. Play, which basically lets you play it. Uh, and then some other items right here, which is including the view options of how you want to view Keynote, as well as you can actually edit the slide layout. So that way, if you want to have like your own layout as well, you can see the slide only by itself. You can see the navigator, which is the items on the left here. So you have a couple items here. On the right side here, you have your different slide layouts. Obviously, there are different things based on how they of what you're trying to present. Layouts, obviously there are different things based on how they, of what you're trying to present. Uh, it's really simple, all you gotta do is click on a box, it's really easy, and I'm just gonna say Apple one, two, one, uh, and that's it. And then all I gotta do is to add another slide, I just have to add slide button right here, and then there's different ones, so you can include photos, so if you wanna go and do a photo here, you can. The photos are replaceable, if you click on this icon right down here on the bottom, there is a picture icon which allows you to open to your different items that you have here. So if you're looking for an image of somebody or something, you can add it right in here. If you scroll all the way down the bottom though, it's photos and movies. You can actually see the photos that you have in your photo library. So I'm going to take this cake right here and insert it. And it fits it exactly within the parameter of the box, which is really great. Also, if you, I'm going to undo that by using Command and Z. You can also just like go to your finder, and if you are looking for something, uh, I'm just going to look up a, something really quick here and just drag it right on top. You can do that as well. Also, you can go on the web. This thing called Google, and this thing called Google Images. So if you want to look up Google Images, I'm just going to look up Apple logo. Here it is. And then I'm just going to kind of drag this to the side and just click and drag right here, and it puts it right on top. And there you are. Now, what's really neat about what I just did is I actually picked a PNG file. It knew that, which was amazing. So how cool was that? That it automatically took the background out. So one of the things you might want to do if you're trying to put logos and stuff is put in like the word PNG in it because PNG typically means that you're trying to find something without a background. Like you could look for these squares. Like here's another example. I'm throwing this one in here and look, it did exactly the same thing. Very cool. You can edit the slide title, welcome, and same deal is you can go to the text. Right now, it's using a style called title small. Now, I have three slides here, so what do we do? Now we have to make them go from one to another, and this is the very basic start of it, all right? Now, if you notice this one, I used something called dynamic. That's because the background, as you can see, is kind of moving. You can actually see it moving in the background, so dynamic is really neat because then you could have moving backgrounds. In fact, you you can see the preview of the motion, or if you don't want to have the motion, you can turn it off. Uh, you can actually change the colors, which is cool. So if I want more of a red, look at that, that's neat. So dynamic is a really cool one uh, to add more features to the slide that you may not see the other slide. So just remember that. And Apple does have a bunch of different options to choose from. All right, so I'm gonna actually do undo, command Z. So I go back to my red one. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna to go to the next slide. As you can see that this did not stay as well. If you notice, I went to another slide. So it's important that you are keeping your slide. We'll talk about that because you have to do something called the edit slide layouts to make that happen. All right, so now if I play it back, 
and spacebar will move from one slide to the other. And there we are. Escape will get you out of the uh, presentation. So I really didn't write anything in here. So let's go ahead and write welcome to Keynote. Talk about Keynote. Getting started. Slide. Slides. Uh, also, you could do lists. So if I want to highlight everything, I can go to bullets and lists right here. And I could just use bullet. That way we have the bullet points here. And if I go back to the beginning and hit play, we can go through it. If I hit spacebar, you see it's going through. Spacebar, it's going through. And since this is the last slide, if I hit spacebar again, it's going to take me right back in. So that's a very basic start of it. Uh, there are more that we can do, but I wanted to get you the basics of getting started, knowing where add slide was, knowing a little bit about the dynamic version of keynotes, understanding where to start it as well. And there's so much more to talk about within Keynote, but I want to thank you guys for just this very basic start of Keynote, and we'll definitely have more videos coming to you soon. I would like to take this opportunity to thank you for viewing our content. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe so you can see all our training videos as well as links to download our podcast.